ish, ish. The two short words my mother taught me that would come to haunt me at the end. But every story starts with a beginning. This story is starting in my parents' hometown in Bosnia. The small town of Velka Kladisha is sprinkled with grassy hills. The quiet countryside is peaceful, besides the occasional calls to prayer every few hours. In the summer of 2009, I was back home in Bosnia, also known as my grandpa's house. Being in Bosnia meant spending time with family, playing outside of my great uncle Seiko's house, and going on unpredictable adventures. Sure, we can call that day an adventure for now. And that day was one for the storybooks. I had come home early one day from my aunt's house. I had nothing to do. Being a nine-year-old stuck with grown adults. I left the house to go on a little walk to the store past Seiko's house. Past my grandpa's front yard and a small set of stairs, it was a short walk to the store. To the right, large pear trees sectioned off a dusty road that made my eyes water every time a car drove by. Up the pathway, a group of chickens had claimed their small territory of dry grass and dead flowers. To the right sat a wooden bench and table on the verge of death. Past the wooden bench laid Seiko's brick house, surrounded by barns. Cows that live in the barn made their presence known with their occasional moos. <laughs> The smell of the manure was emphasized by the strong sunlight. Not just that day, but every day I was there. It made you want to pass out. It was that bad. As I walked, I realized that the chickens were blocking my way. I remembered something my mom had told me earlier about the chickens. If they were ever in your way, you have to start shooing them and saying, Ish! Ish! They are chickens. They are harmless, I was thinking. Once I approached the chickens, I began shooing and saying, Ish! Ish! Well... Little did I know that a large rooster was hiding behind the chickens. As soon as the chickens began clearing a path for me, the unseen rooster made eye contact with me like it was ready to fight. He began flapping his wings furiously while saying, I turned around quickly, began running for my life and screamed. Screaming eventually turned into crying and a mix of both. The rooster jumped on my back and pecked my arm, making me scream even more. My short nine years of life began flashing in my head, thinking, This is the end! My life is over! I jumped down to my grandfather's lawn, my flip-flop fell off, my life was a mess. By then, the rooster jumped off my back. Seiko and my great-aunt came running down. My mom and grandparents were already waiting from the first screams, shocked by what happened. My mom and grandparents took me inside the house to ice my arm, where two small marks were made from the rooster pecking me. While sitting in the living room, I heard Seiko yelling and the rooster running, when all of a sudden, it stopped. Seiko had captured the rooster and taken it back to his house, where he later killed the evil rooster. A few days later, I was called over to come eat some delicious rooster that my aunt had cooked. I wasn't even hungry, but I wanted revenge. <laughs> I made my way to my great aunt's house. My great aunt had gotten a plate ready for me. I chose my favorite piece to eat, the wings. But keep in mind, I wasn't hungry. I grabbed a knife and stabbed the wing while saying, How do you feel now? That's what you get. My cousin and great aunt looked at me and laughed. I began to laugh too. I mean, how many people can say they got attacked by a rooster? <laughs> Ish, ish. The two short words my mother taught me that would...